Hello guys, when developing, let's say mostly web-based enterprise applications, data tables and or data grids are inevitable. And when you have a data grid, you will need functionalities such as paging, sorting, and filtering. Most of the web frameworks and libraries do support these functionalities at the client side. But when speaking about enterprise software, you may be dealing with millions of records. So these functionalities should be done somewhere at the back end. Data grids uh, may or may not be equipped with extra functionalities such as crude operations. But in this series, we are just focusing on the return retrieving data and the query part. So uh, what would be the problem? If you are using, for example, the repository pattern, once uh, may expose an iQuery property from the repository of the data layer and then parse the upcoming requests from the client. But as you may know, exposing technology intensive structures like uh, iQueryable is not advised and considered anti-pattern because this kind of design resides on assuming that at the data layer, I mean implementer classes of the infrastructure interfaces, uh, you are using an ORM like entity framework, which is against compliance with something like solid principles. Uh, I don't really want to make it so long, but uh, let's take a brief look at the round trip, the page sorted and filtered or maybe aggregated data list requests from the front end would take. At the first step, user requests one page of a list of records. This is done by interacting with a client side data grid like what which is shown here on a web page with a browser. Uh, the image is just a sample. So uh, the request from the client side with whatever library framework or components will have a set of metadata. Uh, the format is completely based on the used technology, but the content is similar. It would contain uh, something like, like uh, how many rows per page, which page you need sorted by what, uh, and how the data should be filtered. This request is received at the controller. So the controller, first of all, should interpret these request details to a format readable for our business. We can have multiple parses here to support different client libraries. So after this parsing is done, we are not aware and we must not be aware of the upper layer technology. This request finally is converted to a data layer commands and the response would go all the way back to the client. So uh, what we are going to do here, we propose a set of practical data structures to do the job. These structures just depend on .NET, mostly .NET standard 2.1 and so the technology is going to use uh, would be SQL Server, a database, Entity Framework Core as data infrastructure provider and jQuery, yes. jQuery data table. I know jQuery sounds outdated now on 2022 and there are more cutting edge guys out there like Woo, React, uh, Angular, but it is simple and it's still helpful, so uh, no one can stop you from using it. But of course, it's a sample, so you can add implementation for your favorite function technology. And also, jQuery data table is free, open source, and major stuff, which is completely suitable for us in this service.